But now remember one thing is uh, the reason we have this MVC system is to separate the logic from the views. So what I will do is I will simply remove everything, uh, the, the reward, this one row we have here and the save, okay. Now, all I want to do is echo this, okay? Just echo that one there. So what I will do now is to do this. I will go to um, this part and get all this because we don't want any logic whatsoever in here. So I will cut this. Oh, sorry about that. Let me remove that. And then I will go up to the admin uh, section here in the categories method because this is where we are going here so I will put this stuff here this is where it actually belongs so let me move this a little okay so at this point we can use get instance because there's only this is only the first one so that should work out fine and then here um, Okay, so we load a model here, the same way we did here. And then once we got the result, we sent it as um, as part of data. So that's exactly what we want to do. So I will copy this part here and paste it here. So I will use TBL rows like that. Paste there. And then same thing here. Just remove the dollar sign there. So table rows, that. And then now it means I have access to this uh, inside. Because if now I run this, I'm going to get a um, unknown variable, I'm sure. Let me refresh. Okay, so call to undefined method PDO read. Hmm. So that thing is really... Uh, giving me a run for my money there what line number is this that's number 29 line 30 okay so what we will do is just put new instance here and we, we should be fine now we get undefined variable which i was talking about here on line 70 and that's because once we open the view we are sending things through data so our rows are now in this variable right there so i will come here to the variable in categories.php right here i am supposed to paste this one but this is not very um what's the word let me see though if it it's working and an unidentified index Oh, so let's come back here and see what we have done. Data, TBA or rows. What does it return here? Is array. It shouldn't be is object. This should be is array. Now the reason it's is array is because this returns many uh, results, whereas is object is for getting uh, when we got one user, it re this one returns an object. This one returns an array of objects. So we are back here again. Let me refresh. Okay, so still undefined index on line 70, which is, uh, let's see here, data, TB rows, TB rows. Okay, so in such uh, instances, we just have to know if this actually worked out. So we will do an echo here and say we got here, something like that, just so we know it's passing through uh, this part right here. So categories from there, load category, and then we get make table, table rows, all right. Let's do a refresh and we don't get that. So it's not passing through here. So let's see what data type this is. So I will remove that. 
so we're making table with the results of that okay so at this point let me do a var dump for tb rows so i want to see what it's bringing up okay so it's saying undefined variable even there on line 33 that's because we are doing this afterwards so let's put that in front sorry about that okay so as you can see it has brought the data that we need there so tb rows is fine but what kind of data is it so tb rows is not actually a uh, it's a string because it's returning a string that contains the data so what we are supposed to check for though is categories if this was returned as an array because this is the result from the database so let me put that there and hit paste that should sort our problem out okay so there we have it which is uh, pretty good now the thing i was talking about is if i go to uh, the categories.php as you can see this is data and then this is tb rows now wouldn't it be nice if we could just put this as our variable instead of having to go like this because remember if we anywhere where we've added these things like for example the header so let's go to the uh, header right there you will see that we're doing exactly the same thing data page title something like that right and then we are we are doing something similar it would be nice to just have this page title itself as the uh, variable right now it's actually easy to do that there's a function called extract so let me go to where all this is coming from and that is the uh, the controller the main controller so let's go to the main controller here because everything is extending this controller and this 